What's up, people? So don't sleep on this pack. If you want to ascend your spiritual beast to pass level 10, because you can basically get double the stats that you have on it, you need those red blood crystals or whatever they're called. It's in the first, it's in the first pack here on the right. You can get you can get 90, you can put you can put 30 of these in each slot, and, and these at the top, I was hesitant because I, I thought maybe these at the top didn't didn't double with your coupons and only the stuff at the bottom did, but they double as well. So you can only buy one pack a day. I, I I'm gonna be over overspending past what I had planned because I'm gonna buy this pack every single day of this event because this is a much better value to get those blood crystals than the than the event that we've had all the time. And a couple of special packs pop up too. As soon as you ascend one of your spiritual beasts, you want to buy those packages as well. I think that's only one time during the event though. But this this uh, spiritual beast awakening where you buy this and you have a chance of getting the uh, not the awakening, the spiritual beast, whatever seal package right spiritual beast seal package no this isn't what i'm thinking about there's another spiritual beast package the mid is it in the midgard serpent yeah we buy this and then you then you tr then you transform your spiritual beast scales you get a random amount and then you use that to buy the blood crystals but you always want to keep eight oh i almost have 1600 so i can actually I can convert 700 of these. I might do that now. I can convert 700 of these to blood crystals. So I would want to, a cost is 20. So I want to do 30. Well, it's not going to matter. I can, I can do 40 would be 800. So 35 would be 700, right? So I'll get 35 times that number of blood crystals. So I'll get 350, right? Yeah, 350, okay. I can do that and I still have 800. But buying these packs to, to get the blood crystals, how, how much is that pack? You get it because you get a random number of you get a random number of those of those. So the most you're gonna get the most you're gonna get is you're gonna get 40 the most amount of times. So you're probably on average gonna get like 50 if you open a bunch of those. And 50 at 50 of these will only give you will only give you 20 or 30 something of those and how much is that pack that pack is 10 so you, you figure you get like 60 of those blood crystals on average for 10 whereas this package this package without a double down right this package you get 90 for I think this was 20 is that right but, but this pack has a lot of this pack has a lot of a lot of good stuff. Maybe it's comparable. I don't know. I've never bought that pack. I never thought that previous pack was a good value. This one you actually get uh, you get blood crystals and ruby necklaces and art treasure scrolls. I think it's a great pack. Like if you're not doing the cake and you have a bunch of extra double downs, I'd use a double down on this package every single day. It does say seventy four thousand percent uh, percent value. But I was able to, I've seen a couple other people make a video on this. Now, I had already done it. So I, I got my Jormung Gander up to red. And I got him up to 16. Let me see how much total experience I have left. <clears throat> so that would have to do 10 million. I only have enough, I only have 28 million. I, wa I want to save enough for when they come out with another spiritual beast that I can get it to, uh, I get it to level 10 so I can work on its seals. So I don't know how much experience you need to get to level 10, um, but I'm just going to, I'm going to save this extra, because this goes up at 4% at a time. Every level is 4%. I'm missing four levels, so I'm missing 16%. It goes up to, up to 60. Now, I don't think the enemy range troop attack when defending actually helps you when you're being attacked, you know, if you have your subsidies defending. I don't think it applies. I've seen people message, message comments in people's channels like Genghis's channel saying it doesn't apply and it actually needs to be 
on a general in, in a building, and that's when it applies. But that's a huge amount of uh, range, enemy range troop attack if it applies. But we're, we're looking at this enemy siege machine hit point debuff. The other one that I'm going to uh, that I'm going to ascend is Chimera enemy siege machine defense. If I can debuff both of those, the siege machine attacking me is going to die a lot faster. So I just got, I just, well, the thing is, is I can, I'm out of spiritual beast experience. So I can ascend this guy, but then I couldn't level him up. I, well, I could level him up. What does he need? He only needs 2 million to go up a level. I don't have enough. Well, let me just upgrade. Let me, let me ascend him. A couple of times, see how many of these uh, red blood crystals I did have. Oh wow, I had enough to do everything but the last level. I had enough to do everything but the last level. Okay, so I'll, I'll hopefully, hopefully before all stars, I'll get enough of those packs to do. All that's left is the red level, right? Yellows before red. Well, the five five hundred, the five hundred amount, the five hundred amount. So he's he's at enemy siege machine defense debuff at 30% already. Okay, that one's at 44. So yeah, after you fully ascend it, it changes from going up 2% per level from smelting to up 4% per level. So I want that enemy siege machine defense debuff. Now you could say, well, you should have hold, held on to those blood crystals because obviously they're going to come out with uh, better ones. Like this is a double one, but... We don't know if the enemy, if the when defending take takes into account uh, when defending your city. I would assume it's supposed to, and maybe it will in the future. But uh, supposedly people have tested it and it doesn't. So I'll get enough to raise my enemy siege machine defense, like another like 10% when I buy uh, each of those packages a day. Uh, some people might have wanted to do siren for the enemy range troop attack debuff. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do, I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to do this one. Now there is quests each day to smelt your, your, uh, spiritual beast, but I had already hit, I had already hit the mass, max experience in that quest. I think it's, well, where is it? It's somewhere. I forget, but I already hit the max, the max experience in it. So it's cool that we finally got. A good way to get blood crystals. I'd buy that package. I would buy that package every single day. Like if you're low to mid corner, I would buy that package every single day. Okay, guys, that's all I wanted to make in this video. I'm glad I finally got, I finally got one of my spiritual beasts, other than the regular ones, up to red. And I'll, I'll have a second one to red uh, by the end of this event. I've got all these to red. I've used so much of my spiritual beast experience on these. Like this one's level 18. Like they use the exact same amount of experience as the good ones do, right? I do have one. I do have each of these on. Like that's on one of my reinforcing generals. Uh, that's on a reinforcing general. That is on my uh, <clears throat> my one. I got one march of the 100% double drop. And then I have the Behemoth King on my uh, on my Amir Tamir for loot march in uh, in SVS. So I do use all of these, but I used an incredible amount of uh, spiritual beast experience, especially on that one, getting that to 18. And Behemoth King, Behemoth King is also 18. So if I hadn't have done that, I I could have gotten Jorma Gander to 20. So it is what it is. You do, you do get a significant amount of spiritual beast experience every single day, and eventually I will have enough to level up Chimera and Jorma Gander both, both to 20 sometime, sometime in the future. Alright guys, thanks for watching.